busy times for chess but also very exciting yes it is very busy time because lot of things are happening and uh, lot of things are happening <laughs> suddenly i find it it is tough running here there this chess olympiad then uh, uh, team going to world team championship world cup so many events and the icf uh, is also totally uh, in changed mode uh, we we are promoting chess league we are having uh, sponsorship deals and uh, national academy lot of other things are coming yeah, let, let's take it one by one first yeah. the league because this is something that has been a dream for indian chess for quite some time now and i think it's coming true yes uh, we already have uh, four or five serious uh, bidders but uh, we just gave a ad in economic times uh, day for yesterday and also on social media and i said website uh, seeking the interest from the people and uh, we are going to have finalize it very soon and and you you think it will be a very big league like is there something that can be revealed at this point about the league or i personally feel that the more money to the players more successful will be the league and uh, the sponsorship will come and uh, support from uh, uh, good corporates will come because if the more money is given to the players that is what i feel right and apart from that uh, also you spoke about the national academy of chess w- what about it uh, uh, we are planning to have a residential uh, chess academy where we are going to have uh, under 10 under 12 under 14 under 16 and under 18 players preferably in an institution uh, where they can study aha uh-huh. and also the training and uh, good kind of facilities and good coaches uh, let me be very honest we are working with kit in bhuvneshwar and we are meeting on the owners on 7th and uh, most of the things have been conveyed because Uh, the advantage uh, with the education institutes is that the education can be there in the same complex and also uh, kit has got a beautiful complex they have a very nice gyms lot of swimming pools and there is a chess building itself in that complex yeah they are also supporting chess for quite yes. some time like they yes, have the kit open yeah and uh, government of orissa is also supporting a uh, lot of sports in this olympics we have seen and uh, we are working with the government of orissa also with kit and there is another uh, request from gujarat so we are going to have uh, these kind of academies fantastic because, uh, and about the yearly annual sponsorship for uh, the uh, team and w- what is it about that? see uh, we are uh, working with the uh, one corporate and uh, we are likely to get some good amount per annum and it will be a annual sponsorship for uh, chess federation which we have uh, never thought and hopefully by next week or within 10 days we'll sign a contract it, it looks like as if you know uh, people are ready to invest into chess yes. has something changed recently or uh, is it because of the chess boom w- what would you say is the reason i think uh, there are many things attributed to this first is first the most important thing is that the mindset of the federation let me be uh, very honest with you we are very open we are very transparent and player friendly uh, federation so we want to be uh, good with players and want to do good for the game uh, obviously chess is not booming today it is booming for a uh, few years now uh, but we could not uh, get good sponsors we could not fetch a good league all these things were not uh, near our federation but today uh, within 6 uh, 7 months we have th- everything in uh, i should say in plate because a lot of people are approaching us for sponsorship a lot of people are approaching us for chess league and chess academy so and uh, of course uh, players are with us and uh, we are taking care of players well yeah i mean we can see here for the online olympiad yeah. like last year everyone was playing from their homes this year you have them in taj koromandel every player gets a separate room to play there's a dedicated space to play i think a lot of 
uh, thought has gone behind you know taking care of the players uh, yes see i i made two visits to finalize the venue and uh, you know uh, the internet uh, the, uh, is a big issue uh, on online events we have three tier internet here and uh, we have the sponsors uh, they are uh, into internet and they say one internet fails the second internet within 2 3 seconds uh, the switch over time that's microsense who is yes microsense uh, so we are taking care of everything each and everything so i don't see even the players who are unable to travel like hari krishna lives in para gampi and harika they have some health issues they could not travel we have sent them a mail if you need any help if they can go and play in hotels in their city we are okay if they want uh, two more internet connection in their house we are doing that so basically we want to keep them in comfort we want to do everything all facilities and rest on them to perform and also the players are sponsored here like by icf is it true? yes 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 we are uh, going to give them some uh, uh, pocket money uh, you can say or appearance money we uh, all india chess federation is doing it uh, for them wonderful and i have seen you traveling all across india you have been meeting different federation different state federations there have been certain disputes which have been going on you are trying to douse them you are trying to bring everything together uh, is it like you want to bring the entire chess fraternity together how is it yes uh, you know uh, uh, we had a chess association of india before they had big money in their kitty and uh, they did lot of activities Uh, you remember many players rating were removed and there were a dispute first thing i said i contacted them and i said why not we work together and uh, finally uh, we came across the table and agreed and now that issue is settled they have merged with our federation also there are important state associations like up for instance it is uh, 22 crore people in uttar pradesh if the fight the progress of chess is not there so my basic funda is let's work together for chess so there also they merged up chess association recently in maharashtra there were lot of legal cases legal battles maharashtra also rajasthan it was a long long battle and now they have also combined and we are going to very soon we are going to have the similar thing in kerala so everywhere uh, we are going to meet people but you know as a federation uh, there are certain people certain uh, people who don't like their personal interest or whatever it is we try to convince them also but it is like a package when you run federation there are few problems there may be few wrong things few mistakes but in general most of the things we want to do right direction bring everybody together achieve good amount of uh, success for chess and chess players yeah it's uh, very important you know if it's a stable federation the game grows otherwise uh, yeah. players suffer at the end yeah see the most uh, difficult part is uh, when two state associations fight or two federations fight the players are in big dilemma where to go where to play where not to play who to contact who not to, that we have seen in uh, past one year it was very sad i don't want to talk about it now the everything is clear and everything is over we want to do in a positive way and even the certain people are left out through you i want to request them uh, i have made lot of post on social media that we are doing so well as a federation we are doing so well as a chess we are one of the top most uh, federation in the world we should work together forget our differences you know in family also we have certain problems but you live with your wife your father your mother your brother you have certain issues you make some adjustment so it's a big federation True. even if there are disputes some small issues are there let us sit down thrash it out let's work together jointly we should work for the chess development i think that should be our priority wonderful and uh, you know there's so many people who started playing chess in the lockdown you know there was this queen's gambit then there was this streaming boob there are a lot of people who said they all want to play rating tournaments now uh, but when is it likely to begin 
see three days back we have sent uh, mail from AISF to all the uh, state associations to allow uh, the rating tournaments uh, but they have to see the local laws uh, 20 people 30 people whatever they think to make the tournaments we have also allowed the round robin tournaments rating tournaments now which was not allowed in India before but now we said uh, you can have 10 15 players around robin tournament you can have 50 people tournament so uh, we have allowed all this because we are very keen on the board chess has to be there yeah i mean over the board chess you get rating and i think the fide rating is one of the key components yeah uh, you know it's very simple uh, as a chess player uh, i'll tell you if you start a good tournament now say around 10 lakh prize money you you will have more than 1000 players yeah. because people are just starving for chess or on the board chess uh, it is really uh, but uh, the permissions uh, the covid restrictions uh, are there but certainly we we are going to have few international events and also the rating tournament we are open anybody want to organize they can right to AIC through their state associations we are giving permission so on one hand you are taking care of the top players of chess you know all the grandmasters top players there's also another thing where you need to spread chess chess in schools which is the biggest project what are your thoughts on that chess in school uh, see i'll uh, tell you this uh, lockdown uh, taught us a lot of things we train nearly 1500 uh, trainers for training for uh, trainers in uh, schools our syllabus is ready we were supposed to launch tomorrow but which we are not doing it tomorrow uh, in a uh, few weeks we'll be out with the chasing school syllabus we already have the state uh, association we have started investing we have started opening uh, offices in state associations we have started hiring sports uh, people in uh, uh, staff in every state associations, coordinators, we are already working on this. But there are no school opening, uh, you can't see this. If uh, the schools are not opening, we'll start online uh, chess in school. So definitely we are at it and I'm sure chess in school is a very ambitious uh, project. We'll have a lot of players through that. and. Uh, we have given, if you have seen our chess in school proposal, we have given targets to each and every uh, state association that they have to affiliate uh, uh, these, uh, uh, these, uh, this much schools. So these are the targets and also two interesting ideas. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, we have nearly 700 districts in India. Uh, what AICF is planning our next meeting uh, this will be my proposal to have uh, two arbiters in every district two organizers in every district two trainers in every district we are going to train them free and uh, we are going to do funding from AICF so eventually uh, you'll be training around 3000 people for chess uh, arbiters, trainers and also the organizer. First time we are going to organize the trainers. Trainers uh, means district level they can organize tournament. District level arbiter. See if you have to grow fast you have to work at the grassroots level. True. Uh, now uh, I don't know whether you are aware about the our new registration player registration format there the some money goes to district basically idea was to have the feel that what are the districts involved out of 700 we have presence in 491 districts players are in 491 districts i want to make all the district chess should happen and every district we want to train trainers arbiters and also organizers maybe if we get a good sponsor we'll sponsor the district level tournaments right that's a wonderful thought recently we had the tokyo olympics and you saw that you know whoever won the medals over there got a lot of fame a lot of uh, people got to know about it this is one thing that is in the minds of people always will chess ever be part of olympics are you working towards it uh, is aicf 
taking any proactive role on that front? I, I'll tell you uh, this, uh, the FIDE is already working on it. It's not in our hand, but our hand, whatever is there, we are already working and we are likely to get affiliation from Indian Olympic Association. They have already sent us a letter that they are going to decide very soon about our affiliation and uh, we told them we are part of Asian Games and all. Once we get affiliation from Indian Olympic Association, it's a good thing. Nearly 15 states, players are not getting grading in colleges, they are not getting government jobs in states. Once we get affiliation uh, from Olympic Association, they get eligible for this. So once we are affiliated, it will be a great thing for Indian chess. So you are very much for chess becoming a part of Olympics? Yes, of course. Wonderful. You you uh, always say chess 24 by uh, into 7 into 365. I think you are living that uh, maxim, yes, in your life right now? Yes, yes. And you are, you are totally traveling uh, from one place to another. Yeah. Uh, if I had to ask you finally, like what is your vision for AICF now in the next few years that you will be the secretary, what would you say? Uh, see, uh, I feel my vision will be that at least 5 crore people to play chess. And when more and more people play chess, more and, money will, more and more money will come. Uh, more and more uh, sponsorship will come, more power to chess and the ICF and players, medals of course it will automatically. Thank you so much Bharat Singh ji for your time, it was Thank a you. pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.